Morning Prayer on Saturday the 11th of February. O Lord, open our lips. Blessed are you, Creator of all, to you be praise and glory for ever. As your dawn renews the face of the earth, bringing light and life to all creation, may we rejoice in this day you have made. As we wake refreshed from the depths of sleep, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night is past and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. And as we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Psalm 42 as the deer longs for the water brooks, so longs my soul for you, O God. My soul is a thirst for God, even for the living God. When shall I come before the presence of God? My tears have been my bread day and night, while all day long they say to me, Where is now your God? Now when I think on these things, I pour out my soul. How I went with the multitude and led the procession to the house of God with the voice of praise and thanksgiving among those who kept holy day. Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul, and why are you so disquieted within me? O put your trust in God, for I will yet give him thanks, who is the help of my countenance and my God. My soul is heavy within me, therefore I will remember you from the land of Jordan, and from Hermon and the hill of Mizar. Deep calls to deep in the thunder of your waterfalls. All your breakers and waves have gone over me. The Lord will grant his loving kindness in the daytime. Through the night his song will be with me, a prayer to the God of my life. I say to God, my rock, who, why have you forgotten me? And why go I so heavily while the enemy oppresses me? As they crush my bones, my enemies mock me while all day long they say to me, Where is now your God? Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul, and why are you so disquieted within me? O put your trust in God, for I will give him thanks, who is the help of my countenance and my God. Come, Creator Spirit, source of life, sustain us when our hearts are heavy and our wells have run dry. For you are the Father's gift with him who is our loving water, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the New Testament reading is John eighteen twenty-eight to the end. In the preceding verses, Peter has denied Jesus three times, and the cock has crowed. Then they took Jesus from Caiaphas to Pilate's headquarters, it was early in the morning. They themselves did not enter the headquarters so as to avoid ritual defilement and to be able to eat the Passover. So Pilate went out to them and said, What accusation do you bring against this man? They answered, If this man was not a criminal, we would not have handed him over to you. Pilate said to them, Take, your, take him yourselves and judge him according to your law. The Jews replied, We are not permitted to put anyone to death. This was to fulfill what Jesus had said when he indicated the kind of death he was to die. Then Pilate entered the headquarters again, summoned Jesus and asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered, Do you also, do you ask this on your own, or did others tell you about me? Pilate replied, I am not a Jew, am I? Your own nation and the chief priests have handed you over to me. What have you done? Jesus answered, My kingdom is not from this world. If my kingdom were from this world, my followers would be fighting to keep me from being handed over to the Jews. But as it is, my kingdom is not from here. Pilate asked him, So you are a king? Jesus answered, You say that I am a king. For this I was born, and for this I came into the world, to testify to the truth. Everyone who belongs to the truth listens to my voice. Pilate asked him, what is truth? 
After he had said this, he went out to the Jews again and told them, I find no case against him, but you have a custom that I release someone for you at the Passover. Do you want me to release to you the king of the Jews? They shouted in reply, Not this man, but Barabbas. Now Barabbas was a bandit. Your salvation is near to those who fear you, that glory may dwell in our land. Your salvation is near to those who fear you, that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth have met together, righteousness and peace have kissed each other, that glory may dwell in our land. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Your salvation is near to those who fear you, that glory may dwell in our land. And let us pray. A prayer from the Benedictine Handbook. O God, you show the light of your truth to all those who stray, that they might return to the right way. Grant that all who bear the name of Christian may reject whatever is contrary to their calling, and strive for what is worthy of it. We are ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And the collect for today, Almighty God, who alone can bring order to the unruly wills and passions of sinful humanity. Give your people grace so to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that among the many changes of this world our hearts may surely there be fixed, where true joys are to be found through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. And let us pray with confidence, as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.